I would accuse you of blending psychology into philosophy for convenient truths, not the truth. I would argue that I'm strictly philosophy. I want to define the truth. I want to, I want to reduce this thing. I want to break it down into right. little pieces and know how it works and why it works and can we make something out of it. Why do you want the truth? Because the question of why is the truth valued introduces the psychology question. That is, who values the truth? It's just a function of intelligence. Logic and intelligence kind of demands the truth. There's no functionality to logic, even having the attribute of intelligence and combining our model or running our model if it is not an accurate model. It's by default broken. Your intelligence is of no value if you have the wrong gears. If you put the wrong part on your car, it's not going to run. Intelligence always leaves uh, 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 its fingerprints. By your order and your construction, you reveal your influence. You can't really influence anything without leaving the sign of yourself or your intelligence on it. You put a leash on your dog. It always has a logical construct that has nothing to do with the natural order. The natural order is unfair, unjust, chaotic, and everything about intelligence is the opposite of that. Intelligence is the opposite of the chaos, is the opposite of unfair, is the opposite of unjust, so it always reveals itself in terms of its influence is always going to be to apply order, to apply efficiency. Right. The friction exists in nature. Nature is all friction. Most of the universe is harsh, brutal friction. Right, but okay, but you're intelligent. Where did that intelligence come from? Well, we are biological animals that were suited to an environment where it became necessary for us to be able to navigate it in a complex, sophisticated manner to stay alive, okay? Yeah. We weren't tyrannosauruses, we were weak little bugs. Our niche was strategy. Our niche wasn't power, okay? So we acquired a brain that could model the world. Okay, so we could interact in different worlds, past worlds, future worlds, we could test worlds, we could test strategies in our mind, and so we became more efficient in how we lived because we had less friction, because we had more order to how we navigated the world. Yeah, I, do, I know, I, I don't, I'm not disagreeing with that. I guess I'm still stuck with, aren't you yourself part of nature? Aren't you part of the intelligence which nature evolved? You can give nature credit for it, but the point is, is nature didn't intend it. Nature didn't build it because it said, I will build an intelligence because intelligence is a good thing. All right? It was a natural it. product like entropy. You know, you could call it some kind of law of nature that, you know, a complex system will have to, uh, will have to acquire a balance. I think for you, as best I understand it, for you the truth is that a blind happenstance was that four some billion years ago a molecule emerged and it created a capacity to hijack subsequent versions, reiterations of itself in some way and it's a blind force that's just sort of unfolding. There, there remains these metaphysical, and this is again outside of the psychology, back to the, the philosophy, I think there are metaphysical ambiguities of how was it metaphysically possible for that to happen. When you hiccup, when you belch, you don't ask the question. You don't need a metaphysical explanation, and we don't need a metaphysical explanation for why, in a universe with chemistry sloshing all over the place, that there was a combination of chemistry that created a reproducing cell, as far as we know, one time in the universe. You know that under the end of the day, and I agree with you on this, that in, in a lot of ways, every little pleasure that people take, it ends up to be suffering of other people. So, you know, some person's eating meat and it leads to the hard, cruel treatment of animals and it's, it's, it doesn't seem justified. And some person wants to have children to make themselves happy and it's this great imposition. Or some person, they want a cheaper product and it leads to slave labor in a third world. And yet, I think part of it is, you know, there's ambiguities there and when you say that I'm not, this is you saying, I'm not willing to participate in this stuff because it's crap and the suffering isn't worth my momentary pleasure. You're being so other than animal there. 